and gentlemen welcome back to the channel I haven't posted a couple of days because i had to take care of a person uh like in the healthy way not like trying to take him out of existence but this morning gentlemen i woke up in cold sweat with my fingers trembling and i barely reached my pc like a substance addict because i had the urge to criticize women for their dating mistakes more than women so here we are gentlemen thank you for joining me and ampu let's get started and let's see what we have today i found out who my lover's mystery polyamorous girlfriend is and she smells like kimchi and has racked up more bodies this summer than a ukrainian army recruiter so i've chosen not to continue in this befuddled confusing some sort of relationship and chosen myself even though if that means i'm going to have a geriatric pregnancy in a couple years because i can't find anyone good to date uh gen z kindly asking please one take a shower and two leave some for the rest of us because yeah they're gonna choose the 25 year old who lets them do whatever the hell they want why is well yes and you you could have been that young fertile and attractive woman right who stopped her gentlemen Right, but no, she she says there is no there is no good guy left to date. What a world we live in, and you know, don't we, gentlemen? In a world where there's just no good men left. You you know, you had all these beautiful women, beautiful creatures who just cannot find a man. They have everything it takes: beautiful trad wife, uh, but no good man left. Well, no, that is irony. In reality, gentlemen, there are plenty of good guys, and nothing is stopping this woman from choosing them. But she chooses that one sort of relationship that situation ship that guy who clearly doesn't care about her then blames him for cheating after in the first place they never had something right and she blames all men you know all manhood is to blame because she had this one bad experience with a clearly big red flag that she chose as a partner but nothing new under the sun am i right is it that every single time that I'm dating someone new and then I they, they're super consistent for a while and then all of a sudden they're not and I have this whole anxious attachment meltdown and I'm getting better and better at getting to the other side of it really fast and just understanding and accepting this is just not the right guy for me he's just not that consistent that's okay I can let this go why is it that every time I get to that point in the kind of internal conversation with myself that is always when he texts and he tells me, I am so sorry for being out of touch. And there's always a really, really good reason. And all of a sudden I feel better about the whole thing. Because these guys know what they're doing, right? They just follow a formula. They know what type of woman you are, one who is addicted to anxiety. Uh, they know that you're hooked to this, right? And they can read you. Uh, they read you like an open book, right? And so it always works with these women, you know, they say that they're healing gentlemen, they say that they're working on themselves, but they always fall for the same thing. It's it's really two or three things that everyone else can notice and pick upon. Uh, but these women lie to themselves, uh, you know, just they, they try to say, oh, well, he texted me back after two weeks. So that must mean he still loves me and he wants something with me. No, for the love of God, please. Uh, be a human adult, you know, you, you can't fall for the same thing 46 times and still blame it on the man. And it's the common pattern that we see on these videos, guys. Modern women, they like to blame men for everything, you know. And, you know, me as a man, I'm going to tell you, I, I don't excuse simps and simp behavior. Men who commit the same mistake many times, it's on them, right? Men who are divorced five times and they cry about it oh, all women are bad well if it took you five divorces to understand that maybe you're doing something wrong then it's on you my friend right gentlemen the the best sympathy that you can show towards a person is criticizing them when they make a mistake you don't have to be an a-hole right but say things for what they are we have so many weak people in society and so many people just straight up confused because no one ever told them that they are being stupid, right? No one criticized them. No one uh, exposed them for the stupid things they do. But do you agree with me, gentlemen? What do you think? The reason is, the reason is because that anxious attachment was never about this practical stranger and his inconsistency in communication. The anxious attachment was always about my father. It was always about the relationship or lack of relationship that I always wanted to have with my father. 
And until I accepted and embraced and just allowed my dad to be who he is and not try to use every other relationship as a surrogate to try to fix, earn, or deserve the love that my father is not capable of giving me, I will always project all of my frustrations, all of my anger, all of my sadness, all of my grief, all of my anxiety onto people that I am not entitled to their love, attention, or time. No one is entitled to love, attention, time, or affection from anybody else. I am not entitled it. You are not entitled it. However, it is up to you to decide who you are going to give access to your love, attention, or time. And it's okay to take your time to do so. And it's okay for other people to take their time as well. God, it feels good to have all of these planets going direct with the new moon in Virgo. Yes. Uh, why did what? Guys, I was just going to agree with her on some things, but then she mentioned the whole astrology, and you know, let's just forget about it. But here's the thing, guys. Now, this woman has daddy issues, like literally not trying to mock her. She literally has daddy issues. And look, it, it's a serious problem, right? It's something psychological. Uh, it, it's something, it's a learned behavior that, I mean, people people go to therapists for years at a time to unlearn things, right? I'm not saying it's something easy. I'm not saying, you know, you can just change it from one day to another uh, by having a positive mindset. But what I'm trying to say is a lot of people will see this and will say, oh, well, poor creature, you know, just think about yourself. Just think about what suits you best, you know, and they, they'll play this role of the good cop no, you have to be the bad cop, the, the rational cop. You don't have to be bad, but you don't have to perpetuate this line of thinking, right? What you have to do is expose it for what it is. And you're not going to change it. You know, if, if, you are, if you tell her what is going on, she's not going to change in one day. But it takes many of these, you know, calls to reality to finally unlearn that behavior. If you just validate this woman for all the wrong choices, if you say, yes, madam, I think that all men are trash. I think that you just don't have luck. I think that it's because you're a Virgo. Uh, she's not going to go anywhere, right? If you, truly, if you truly want to help this woman or any person for that matter, who is in, in this process of unlearning a bad behavior, man, you, you have to you know, be, be real with them and expose them every time they make a stupid mistake is the only way to learn, right? But now let's continue, guys. We love this shit. We love it. Healing's good. Point is, patriarchy is hurting men just as much as women. You posts are basically about being single and the amount of guys who are so alone and lonely and, you know, what all women want is just money and what I can provide, better for myself, blah, blah. The reason why men and women are expecting a man to provide is because of the patriarchy. Mm. The reason, you know, why women feel like they have to be under 30 and pretty, that's the patriarchy. Yeah, it's, you know, everything, guys, in this world is the patriarchy. It all boils down to that. You know, before God, there was the patriarchy. This is sort of the argument of boys like blue, but only because you dress them in blue. And boys like to play with trucks, but only because that's what you give them. No, it's the other way around, right? If you have 10 boys and you give them to choose between a doll and a, and a truck, they, they're probably going to play with both. But at a certain point, they will just be more interested in playing with trucks and cars and, you know, things like that. They wouldn't be as interested in playing with dolls and Barbies and, you know, having a house or whatever, right? And it's the same with the patriarchy. Uh, the patriarchy didn't establish the rules that govern, you know, men to women and vice versa behaviors. It's the other way around. It's women's interests for a man who can provide that, you know, sort of, well, if you want to call it patriarchy, you know, so, sort of embodied the patriarchy, even though I wouldn't call it that, that. It's your female nature that wants a man to be taller, that wants a man to be, you know, more financially stable than you. It's your female nature. No one established this, all right? A group of seven men didn't gather around a round table to discuss this and say, you know what, we're going to establish the patriarchy and we're going to suddenly change how all women on earth think. This, this didn't happen, guys. Like, 
these women that talk about the patriarchy and every second word is the patriarchy, the patriarchy. Man, what a pain in the neck. I, I honestly <laughs> have absolutely no doubt of why you are single. Just so annoying. See these people, man, so indoctrinated. You cannot speak anything with them. Like these things that we moan about and we're struggling with about not fitting in these boxes anymore, especially right now. If a man doesn't think that he can deserve a woman or get a woman until he is a sole provider of the home and he's earning God knows how much money in this um, financial climate. Leave for women, like women, I'm not saying women are bad, but good. The reason why women have these opinions about men and wanting to provide and stuff, that comes from the same source. I'm not saying it's right. The reason the patriarchy is for all of that and the shift in that, in that, and we are still fucking figuring it out. Like, how slowly it's changing in comparison to how embedded it's been in our society and the way things worked. Having jobs, again, more financially stable. We don't need men for that financial stability. And men are like, oh, well, what have we got left on the plate? You have so much more on the plate to offer and to give. It's just, again, stepping out of that bind that the patriarchy has over men and women about what a man and a woman has to look like. Women against women, men against men. Like, how do we stop this? It's not gonna happen overnight. I think it's just awareness that the patriarch exists. It's the societal system that we live in. There's this woman from another angle, probably another day wearing different clothes. She just can't stop thinking about the patriarchy, man. She's in the matrix, right? She's seeing the patriarchy everywhere. Damn this patriarchy is the reason why I'm single. No, the reason why you're single is probably because you're not that pleasant to be around and probably you've had a lot of, you know, partners or situationships in the past, which honestly just disgusts men. Guys, it's, I, I, I really dislike this, you know, we, we've lived on this planet for thousands and thousands of years and we have established rules, but the last century or so, people just really like the exception, that one exception, you know, Ah, oh, there is this one guy who is not uh, physically attractive and look at what girlfriend he pulled off and, and that somehow uh, dismantles the other argument that 99.9% .9 of women go for guys who are jacked and attractive and decisive, right? I don't understand why we do this. I think that the best way you can learn in this world is by l looking at what works, you know, looking at how people have been doing it and yes it's not the most precise tool uh, but there is a reason why we do it right and you can get a lot from that you can go into uh, you know why we do certain things from a psychological point of view you know we you can learn about our mentality about our preferences right the thing is if you ask nine out of ten women on the street they will prefer a man who is taller and the tenth one she will be lying to you and she'll also prefer a man who is taller than her right it's just the way it is. I don't care about that one out of 10,000 women who really doesn't care. The patriarchy, guys. <laughs> and having that awareness to be able to choose differently um, and to be more open to other ways and ideals and ones that are more aligned with you. I just want to say, you sound like Yeah, before we continue, guys, she's just really trying to get off the mold, right? She's trying to establish her own rules to explain why is she single because she, d she doesn't like to be exposed by the truth. And the truth is that men want and like a specific type of woman who falls into her femininity and a woman likes a man who falls into his masculinity. That is the way it is. There is a reason why we're different. There is a reason why we both like each other, right? There is a reason why we work well together, at least in theory, right? And you can't change all that rules. You, you can't just uh, put your head, you know, beneath the ground like, like an ostrich and say, oh, no, these rules don't apply to me. I'm different. It's the patriarchy. I'm going to break the rules. You're not. You're going to fail miserably, as we can clearly see. But now, gentlemen, let's get to our last woman. Said kind things to me in the comments and resonated about that also being your experience with Tinder and with dating apps. Well, I see you and I appreciate that. And if you said mean things, I didn't like that. But also, I get it because I'm a stranger who is crying on the internet and I gave you the material to make fun of me with. And you just exactly. did what you do. 
I will also say a couple of things have happened to me in the week following. One, I've celebrated my 30th birthday twice. 30th birthday is still 10 days away, but I am committed to celebrating. I've also discovered that I sometimes get bags under my eyes. This is a new thing. I do not like it. Also, a pet peeve of mine is when people drink with their straws and stick their tongue out when they do it. Like, that is not necessary. Stop doing that. More of and less of Okay, guys so i don't know who of you asked this one about all those things uh but at least she gets it right so first things first uh this is the internet if you don't want to get insulted don't go to the internet right it's just the way it is when people play video games and they lose a game uh they're willing to you know trash uh, your, your whole family up to the fourth generation right in real life that doesn't happen right you're playing a soccer match a football match basketball whatever and if someone makes a mistake, you're not going to wish him to earn a life himself, right? It's just the nature of the internet. That's how it goes. And, you know, kudos to this woman for seeing that out. But now, guys, you know, to close this video off, we have another 30-year-old woman uh, apparently crying on the internet because of dating apps, because of where have all the good men gone, because it's so hard to date. And mind you, guys, this is coming from the gender that has, I know... 300 options right throughout their life 400 200 a lot like guys if you give guys a you know four relationships they're gonna make one of them work if you give women 40 no none of them will work right and is you know you i don't like to blame a whole gender for something because things aren't that black and white uh but you gotta admit that women just are too picky you know and beggars become choosers they become too entitled, their standards are too high, they're not down to earth, most of the time they don't have a father figure to, to lead them, right? And, and to show them what a good man is, or uh, you know, a mother who teaches them how a good wife behaves, or a good woman, what to look for in a man. These people, guys, they just, you know, they live in the era of instant gratification, where they just, they have all this access to bedroom fun, and they choose it, right? They, they just go for it. And then when they wind up to 30, they say, well, throughout all my life, I haven't valued guys. I've never given good guys a chance. I've never valued their time, their efforts, their money, whatever. Uh, but now that I'm 30, you know, why don't you come back and pick up the pieces? It's not going to happen. You know, if you don't want this to happen, if you don't want to be 30 and single, well, start treating men in a more decent way. You know, we, we, men never wanted to be kings. They never wanted to be treated like royalty. Just have some human decency, you know, and bring something to the table if you want to receive back. But do you agree with me, gentlemen? What do you think are the problems of modern dating? Now, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.